Hello everyone, so we're doing, today we're going to be doing a uh, set 12 sneak peek opening for, for the upcoming set that's coming out on Friday. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in getting any of the set, message Kira, message Vince, check out Top Begin website. Uh, we still have like, some sneak peeks available as well, so if anyone's interested in getting the sneak peek a bit early, also. Uh, if you're watching this after, after the live stream, you can skip to the end because I'm going to show the pools there if you're interested in just that. Because it's really annoying when I watch like openings and the pools are not showing. So yeah, uh, sorry for bad quality as I am using my webcam to do this. But I will, um, I will explain, I will show what pools I have exactly up close as well. Um, the things we're looking at for the most is the ASRs, which is the Valkyrian and the Eradicator. And I guess uh, she's looking for SP packs, right? So I'm gonna leave the uh, price packs to the end because I think they usually have the best stuff. Or it's kind of unfun if you open them first and you see like two VRs because then you know the kids don't have any VRs in them. So yeah. Hopefully, when I open the packs, the sound isn't too loud because obviously it is like foil. First pack, uh, Jeffrey. Checking anything interesting. Uh, just some Radicator stuff. We have the new Grade 1 Rare Angel, which is a really good. It lets you, pretty much they introduced the rescue mechanic back into standard, so that's really good. Makes Angels a, a pretty viable deck from the upcoming set. Both No Seal and, uh, and Gabriel are actually okay, so. Yeah, Jeffrey's pretty good. Golds is currently dominating the standard format. We expect I am expecting an emergency hit on them unless the Bermuda set balances it out. Hmm. Next pack, nothing here. Great to eradicate her. Let's you search, let's you draw. See they reprint some triggers just because I see this front trigger that we had in previous sets. But yeah, currently just Jeffrey. Putting the pack aside still. Hmm. See a double row? Yep, we got a, uh, another. We have an eradicator double row. It's 5k. What's he doing? One place if you have long eradicator, discard a card from hand. I just let you bind in an extra power. Oh, interesting. They actually reprinted the uh, astral plane. I guess. Um, I guess in case you don't run, you don't want to buy the TD or the TD is hard to find. You have the option to actually pull it from your pack now, so that's quite good. Mm. What's in here? Oh, we have a first VR. It's a full Bronto. So it's the new Vanquisher. Pretty much what the effect is is when he's bound from hand, you get to rewrite him, so you get to get an extra Excel marker. And obviously again, I have a Vanguard Swick, he gets uh, Drive minus one, but yeah. He's pretty much like an... Um, he's not like a main ride unit, he's mostly um, like a tutorial where he's just like a bind target. So it just lets you extend a bit more attacks, like uh, what Vanquish does in general anyway. So that was the first kit. This was the... If you got this kit at, a, um, at the lock course, you'd be quite happy. A VR and two double res is okay. I do hope that we actually have something high rarity instead of a uh, extra VR because I know we are guaranteed three VRs and then it's one high rarity and a speed pack or like you can just get an extra VR as well as the extra card. I'm going to the next sneak. Mm, putting this aside. <laughs> uh, in this one we pulled the uh, Vanquisher Searcher so it's the uh, well, it's pretty much the Jeffrey clone, it's the, uh, it's Knees clone, it just lets you check the uh, top 7 for Vanquish added to Hanon Vanguard. And then you have the secondary effect when bound from hand you get to call it into the Rigard circle, so... It's quite good, it just it lets you free pass a bit. Whoa! Yes, Brandon, it is the bird. Yeah, I'm building uh, two decks out of this set, the Angel and the, um, and the Fenrir, but I'm building the Fenrir in the premium format. Another reprint, we have the critical trigger for gold. We have Gary, which was used to be like the really good stand trigger that has counter charge, so it's quite sad to actually see him as a vanilla draw trigger to be honest. Yep, nothing interesting in this pack, just some Raz. No, oh, we have the best start. Cool. Oh, we have found another VR. 
We have the Gabriel. We have the Gabriel VR. So that's two of the three guaranteed VRs in this. Or quite a bit. With these are like second and third best VRs. Ideally, we're also looking for the Gurgit VR. Oh, we have a new order card. I actually haven't read this one. What does it do? Put a normal unit from drop zone onto the bottom of your deck. If you put a great hero, greater draw a card. So just like an extra cycle, pretty much. That's pretty much what most of the orders are. But sadly, they're like you don't really class of this. Like I think this effect could be justifiable if you draw two, maybe, because you are technically discarding card by playing the order. But it is quite hard to fit more great freeze in most of these decks. And the third pack. Oh, Angel Great Freeze Archer. So once again, pretty good sneak peek because in this one we had the. We had a double rare, triple rare, and a VR. This is just a great free search, top 5 for a great free add in this card. And what's the condition for the 5k power? It's if any new damage was put during to any player's damage zone. So yeah. Some rest, some comments, nothing interesting. That's two VRs. Essentially the ideal thing I would like to see is just like open pack and I see SP. That's what I would like to see. I feel it gold as well, since gold I think do hold the most value in this set, being the best deck currently in standard. Yeah, I've seen this before, there's actually some, uh, I think this is really good that they gave watch support in this set. Uh, maybe we're going to be seeing some watch support for the uh, Shadow Clan as well in the future. So obviously in, uh, back in the day we had the Genesis Witches and then you had the Shadow Witches, which focus more on like forcing your opponent to call great zeros out. Oh god, this pack did not open correctly. Ah! Oh, do I see a foil? Oh boy. Junk pack. Oh, nothing here, just some comments, some rares. This is actually a really good rare. It's uh, another great 2 unit for angels, you let's just more, do more rescues. Pretty much the whole Gabriel deck is just revolving around the uh, rescue mechanic and just performing a lot of damage triggers and then stacking onto one unit that uh, block sentinels. It's pretty much kind of like a waterfall or a danger launch. There you go, that's the car I was thinking of. Another junk pack. Oh, I see a foil though. Oh. It is the. Uh... Regalia, triple rare. So this is a really cool combo in standard. Well, I don't know if it's really cool, but pretty much you include the Regalia engine with Himiko and you can make like five or six grid swings. So you get to do like an OTK in standard format, which is um, like the OTK is a lot, a lot more, like, more standard in premium, but now you have like an option to damage stuff and go for an OTK in standard as well with the Witch. Another triple rare. Sorry, it's another double rare. It's the no seal grid three. Um, yeah, you play this in your no seal deck, which just like focuses around uh, just rewriting another no seal on top of it. Uh, the no seal that sees more play is I think is the triple rare counterparter, which just plays in the which you play in the Gabriel deck, so you don't get damage stuff. Because Gabriel, uh, Gabriel pretty much requires like. Free damage for you to be able to perform everything you want to do because the uh, waterfall card cost is counter plus three. But yeah, that sneak peek wasn't that great to triple res. Well, I mean, assuming you like bought this at the uh, shop. Not, nothing interesting in this pack. We have like the uh, new counter charge, soul charge engine for gold. When you superior gold, so it's kind of like a Dindre. So you don't get the joy, just either to soul charge or counter charge. Nice deck choice, oh boy. This is a junk pack again. Oh, we have a triple. We have a jab kill, which is uh, an angel triple, oh boy. And um, yeah, just extra. Once again, pretty much all the good units in this deck for all the good units in this set for angels, I just have pretty much printed rescue mechanic on them with some sort of cost for it. And they get power like this one gets 3k for example. 
You also pre because you do the rescue mechanic, but instead of rescuing to drop, you actually mostly add it to hand, so you get to like play with your damage as kind of like a extra hand. Mm, I see a foil in this. There we go. We have the Hamiel, which is part of the, uh, which is like the new waterfall card for Angel, which is kind of plus three. Gets 10k, gets critical, uh, Vanguard, Riga, oh no, it's Rigard only, sorry. And then they can't use Sentinels, so you just like do a lot of rescue, stack triggers on this, and then try to hit your opponent for like 90k. I remember playtesting this in area, I got up to like 116k or something like that. And it was like 6 damage or something, so it's quite fun. Last pack from this sneak. Uh, nothing interesting. An eradicated rare, which is the Nusuku. And then the uh, order card again. The one that lets you recycle. So in this one, we had two double rares and a triple. I'm gonna put this into a pile now. Just gonna do it slowly at the end. Put the bird here. Bird MVP. Hit the mic, I think. Man, I cannot open packs today. Whether the packs are jam or I'm jam. Oh. In this one, we have the reprint, which is the Mighty Ball Dragoon reprint. For the set, so yeah. Just the top 5 searcher. Uh, yeah, just let you go up with me. It's quite good. It's, it's, this card actually got a lot better just purely because you do need the other Vanquisher in hand to rewrite it. So having more, which which is why the standard Vanquisher list plays the double rare and this as the grade ones, just so you have the maximum grade three surge power. The pack pile is getting very large. Oh. In this pack we have the the grade two no seal, which part of the no seal though, and then the foil we had is the non. So obviously you have the Regalia Legion here, but it's like a new form of it. Pretty much they work together, the grade 2 gets boost and gets to restand the grade 3 after you stack like triggers on it. Okay, quite nice. Currently double, we have the reprint which is kind of like a triple and then a double rep. This pack. What is this got? Oh, just more astral, um, astral stuff. I, f I forgot the set has a uh, like free Genesis uh, support kind of because this is like mostly for Himiko. Can be played with Fenrir as well, but then you have Fenrir and then you also have extra support for Astral Poet, which I think the Astral Poet support is really cool because it focuses kind of around guarding, which I think the standard format really needs to be honest. Oh, I see a foil, and it's the best one. Third guaranteed DVR is the Gurgit, so we pulled all three of the best VR, so that's quite good. No fan rays or Astropod, sadly, but yeah. Uh, that was the last pack of the sneak, yeah. Just like trying to segregate it in sneaks to see how lucky old people get if they actually open this individually. So the sneak had like a triple rare reprint, a double rare, and then the Gurgit VR. Gurgit is like OP because he has a like, continual skill on it, that's why. Yep, OP OP. So, potentially there could be another VR in these packs, or the in these packs, or there is a high rarity card. There should still should be, there should still be some triples as well. So, let's see what we pull. No. More angel rescue mechanic. Oh boy. This one, nothing once again. No high rarities. I remember this trigger from somewhere, I think it's the it's a Premzo, I don't know what it is. I think this might have been a trigger in G series. Very cool, it's like a sorcerer. We got our first uh, crit trigger, Sentinel. It's the thief. Pretty much all. It's a. Uh, it's pretty much like all the other set, Sentinels, uh, Sentinel crit PGs, which are the um, 
Well, not BG, it's just Sentinels, I guess. It's just like the counter, it's the G counter part of the trigger that went to Sol and gave you Vanguard 5k and the Indra card. Um, I think this, I think the Crit Sentinels might see more play with, um, they're quite good currently because of the golds running around. So you don't, you don't really want to be discarding cards to guard every gold attack. And 30k will usually be sufficient to guard. However, with the meta coming out, maybe we are heading towards the, uh, Perfect God Meta back again. Oh, another pack. And this time it's the Narukami Sentinel. That is a long name, there's like no space in the box. Like, so like filled it to the brim. It's like a lightning of tri triumph, return, rest. Rest? Something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, we got a new genie. <laughs> can play it with the old smith genie from the set 5. It's quite good. I actually played the blue genie in my uh, Pump the Bus deck back in the day. I thought it was quite good, like a 17k beater. Most of the time it was actually active because people would eat damage early. To then just cut gauntlets. This pile of packs is getting big. But opening another pack, nothing interesting I guess. Just another no seal grade 2 for the no seal deck. I just opened the price pack by a mistake. I did. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave the left seven remaining. That means the the sneak peek I just opened only had two double rares, so that would have been quite bad if you opened that lock horse. Okay. See a shiny. It's the aggravate, which is the uh, which is like. This and the Great Three Counterpart, the Liberator Legion, is the uh, reason that Gurgit is so good because you get to uh, pretty much turbo into Maxel Marcus. Oh, this is a gold pack to. Uh, oh, I didn't know, I didn't realize Perimor was only double rare. Perimor and Agravain. This card in Japan was worth as much as Gurgit, so we'll see how it uh, matches in the English game. Or the English format, I guess. Mm, this one feels kind of thick. I know there's a foil in it. Not a good one, <laughs> but a foil. Uh, well, actually, this is this is actually good. It's the Sentinel um, crit for Angels because in Angels you just play 16 crits because it's like a really OTK turbo kind of deck. So you don't play any heals or any draw PGs. So you just want to put as much crit as you can. And obviously these are the best crits. So you get to have 30k shield on them as well. This pack, nothing again, just like the counter charge, soul charge engine for Gurgud. I might do more, more opening on um, I'm gonna set drops on Friday. So, like an upcoming wing, I might do like two or three box opening as well. So, I'm probably gonna pick up a few boxes as well since the set is really good. Yeah, well, that was the uh, that was the sneak peek, the previous one. Uh, a triple, a double, and two doubles. Oh. Opening this sneak, we have a uh, Scoil, which is the Grade 3 Searcher for Genesis. Need this for the Premium Fenrir deck. Since you, are, since you do need to get the Fenrir to ride it. What's in this one? Uh, Eradicator. And then the older card. Nothing interesting. I can see this pile I have here, just like, oh, just like no space on my desk at all for this. Cool. cool. Got a triple. We got the Descendant, which is the support for Radicaeus, which is Gauntlet. So you get to copy Gauntlet's effects with this and then restand Gauntlet twice. Um, if the meta was a bit slow, I think this uh, deck would be really good, but currently we are in like a ultra turbo go for first uh, first grade 3 kill turn. So you don't really you don't usually actually have time to rewrite onto this. And the last pack for this kit, 
is cool. Is Percival. So we got the Legion for Golds. The Percival and Aggravate. The Bluish Flanks. I remember when Bluish Flanks were really good. They even translated pretty well into the um, the G form when they originally came out. But yeah, the Sneak Peek had a triple and two triples, sorry, and a double. So that means in this pack there is either another VR or we have a high rarity card in here. Unless I am wrong about the um, the ratios. Cool, got Glepini, need that for the Fenrir deck. It's a uh, pretty much he's like the new uh, Wiseman for the premium deck because on attack he soul chargers, soul blasts sorry, and then you just soul blast the stand trigger to re stand them. In case I know almost interesting how the combo works. Uh, for like more detail on this combo, you should check out uh, Team Besco. They have a really good video on it explaining the combo and uh, different builds you can have over. Right, a triple rare in this pack. Man, it might be like a last pack of VR. Nope, we found uh, there was no high rarity in this. So uh, last VR, the fourth VR was the Fenrir VR, which is why I needed as well. So we have a Glepni and uh, Fenrir. And then we also had a double rare in the pack, which is the Vanguard. Which in premium format with the Continuum wall, you get to uh, you have to like retire your opponent regards during their turn. So it's kind of like a hand trap card. It's quite good. Uh, unlucky with uh, the no high rarity, sadly. It's hoping for maybe like an ASR or an SP pack. But not so lucky, I guess. Let's see, I'm not really sure what rarities we have remaining. We have the gold sentinel in this pack. Some witches, the no seal starter. Three packs remaining. There might be like a triple left. Oh, another angel sentinel. Red. Oh boy. Two packs remaining. I think we might be out of all the high rarity cards. Oh, another bird. Nothing interesting here. Just some rares and comments. And then our final pack for the sneak peek is. Uh, it's a triple rare. It's the Eradicator. It's the Plasma Cup. Plasma Catapult Dragon. It's pretty much like a Berserk Lord when placed on Vanguard. Uh, pretty much kind of a Soul Blast on plays, you get to bind the opponent's Ray God, and then if it's placed on Vanguard, you get to draw a card. So it's like a Berserk, berserk Lord copy for the Eradicator deck. You can play it in any deck, really, any Narakami deck. But yeah. Uh, I guess since I opened all the packs, I'm gonna segregate it and just show you guys why I pulled. So for VRs, we had. Oh boy. We had the Gurgit VR. We had the Gavriel VR, we had the full Bronto VR, and then for our last high rarity card of extra VR was, oh, if I can find them, the Fenrir VR. And then showing off our triple res, we had the Glepinier, one Glepinier. I don't think we pulled any duplicates, uh, apart from like the double res, I think we pulled two of the Angel Sentinel. We have the Great Free Searcher for Angel. We have the Great Free Searcher for Genesis. We have Aglavane. Uh, we have a Descendant. What else we have? Technically a triple. We have the Mighty Ball Dragoon reprint. Mm. We have the Plasma Catapult Dragon. We have Jack Neil. Um, for our last triple, we had the uh, CEO Regardios. Mm -hmm. I have no, I have no idea how do you read this. It's like Y G G. <laughs> how you spell it? I don't know how to pronounce that though. Um, yeah, that's for our VRs and triples. For anyone that's interested, and then I'm gonna show off doubles because. Don't really be spaced on here if I show the doubles. So move this here. And then for doubles, we pulled a Narakami Sentinel crit. Pull two Sentinel crits uh, for Angels, which are actually the best ones. A Sentinel crit for 
Yig, Yig, I have someone, I have Brandon saying which how do you pronounce it, Igra, Yggdrasil, Igra, Yggdrasil, okay, well, I am not, in, I, English is not my first language, I do not know how to pronounce that. Uh, another sentence on crit we have is the Genesis one, the free will. Then we have a Percival. I'm gonna move this up a bit, otherwise there's not gonna be space, I don't think. We have a Percival. We have a Perrymore. We have a Jeffrey. So we have pretty much all the good uh, double rest of golds. We have a Nora, which is part of the like uh, Regalia Legion. We have a No Seal Grade 3. We have a Vanguard. We have a Suhel, a Chainball Dragoon, and for our last double rare we had a Hamiel, which is the uh, kill card for Angel Feather. I have to dig on my mouse for, mouse for this. But yeah, this is everything. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in getting this set, make sure to message Karen and Vince and check out the Top Tekken website. The set's coming out on Friday, but if you're interested in getting it now, maybe. They could send out some sneak peeks to you because they did comment today. So yeah, let us know, and uh, you can even like post pictures of your post on the group, which is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and see you guys later.